Hello! Welcome to the video! This has taken forever to make. Don't think, oh, I'm just gonna make a small little animation and then it'll be cute. God, I've spent so much time on this. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Chief among them probably being colors. I'm colorblind and it makes it really tough to do stuff like color correct videos. I still feel like I get around it pretty much. But you are still going to have to cut me some slack on this one. I can't actually see these colors. So I've had to sort of rely on what other people have told me about them. And sometimes people agree on colors, sometimes people don't. I started thinking after the video I made about sounds and how you could make new instruments based on nothing but an AI and then the existing instruments that you can put into it as an input. We can do exactly what we did with the images of the cats. We can move between sounds we know and listen to what the model does in spaces that we don't know. Now let's listen to bass and flute from Ensynth. What it does in my mind's eye is makes a really big bass flute. And I thought, why can't you do the same with colors? And obviously, a lot of people have been thinking the same, but they've not really been getting great results, at least in my opinion. And the people I've showed this to, it, it seems like they pretty much just use existing colors and then given those colors names. But I think theoretically, it should be possible to actually get new colors we've never seen before. The question, however, is will we be able to see those colors? Because there might be existing colors already in nature that we just simply can't see. All of this is very theoretical and we can't really prove much of it. And I've tried to look around for papers and there's not a lot. Even fixing color blindness seems to be put down to if you're red and green color blind, we can fix it with this pair of glasses. If you're anything apart from that, you're screwed. But I still found it super interesting. If you could create new colors using one simple AI, just pop some colors in there, let it train, see what it comes up with. It would have to be a GAN network, a generative adversarial network, where you basically have two AIs competing against each other, both being trained on a training set of data. And the data you would put into this would have to be existing colors. So we would always be able to see the output from the GAN network. The interesting bit here is you basically have two different AIs that are competing, trying to outsmart each other. One is generating new images or colors in this case, based on noise or some kind of input. It could really be anything, like a string of numbers or, or anything. And then you would have the other AI that would be trying every time that it got a picture to determine if the picture was from the training set or if it's a new picture. And if so, if the new picture is good enough to be part of the training set. And if that's the case, then it outputs the picture in the other end and that's when we get the actual picture or once again, the color in this case. We could use this to create new colors, just like they've done with new musical instruments and everything else, really. The one thing about this is using other types of networks, such as convolutional networks, we don't get great results. So what we end up having is these networks that basically just put out an existing color with a funky name attached to it because all the colors in the training set has a name on it. And it's kind of fun to see, but it's also a little bit sad that the whole world goes crazy for this. I had to make a video on it because it is true. The colors are generated from an AI and the AI has named all of the colors. But for instance, in this article, we talk about all of these colors and then they say they prefer beige and brown and it's not really the case. In a lot of the articles I found on this, this was misinterpreted as the AI having a preference for certain colors, beige or brown in this case. And that's simply not the case. A convolutional network will start to figure out what type of images get through and then create more images like those. So in this case, if beige and brown are the first colors, then the initial neural network will start creating more colors like these. This is why convolutional networks have a lot of issues with faces and animals, because once one animal or one face has been approved, it will start creating more images like these. So it will basically send 100 pictures of the same person. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have a better way to do this, I would love to hear about it. We could use something like an LSTM, which is like a long short term memory system. The memory in this case I don't see a lot of reason to have. Maybe we should use an RNN. If this is all just mumbling to do then just let me know what else would you use this on if you had the choice to do it on anything because honestly the limitations are nowhere to be found here. We could try this on pretty much anything and it might work. But yeah 
that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I'd love to hear what you think about this animated beer as well. I call him Jason. I've been playing around with him for a while. I don't know. It takes so long to make, but I really, I find him quite cute. And I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see some old stuff from me, there's a video up here. If you want to see my last video, there's some stuff up here. And yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.